The Wilder Institute and Calgary Zoo are protecting our diverse world. Let's work together to bring the singers back. Imagine you're walking along the marshy edges of this wetland. Below you is a complex maze of water tunnels and passages surrounded by native Canadian reeds and grasses. You're greeted by a chorus of low grumbling, snoring, and it almost sounds like someone laughing at you with their deep chuckle. Meet the Northern Leopard Frog. This large amphibian is known for its spotted appearance and variety of vocalizations. Once common, the call of the northern leopard frog in the wetlands and rivers of British Columbia is heard less frequently today. The northern leopard frog was widespread across North America, but due to habitat loss, invasive species, and disease, their numbers have declined drastically. With only one remaining breeding population of northern leopard frogs in BC, these singers desperately need our help. Hi, my name is Leah Randall. I am a population ecologist here at the Wilder Institute, Calgary Zoo. I work on northern leopard frogs, which are a species at risk in Western Canada. The northern leopard frog is an important species because they're really important for maintaining the balance between the terrestrial and the aquatic environments. So the tadpoles eat algae, which if they keep the algae in check, that makes for much cleaner water for lots of other species. And once, uh, once the tadpoles become adults, they then move to the land and that helps to transfer nutrients from the aquatic to the terrestrial environment. And there they then um, will eat a lot of insects and other arthropods and keep those populations in check. And then there's lots of other important species that eat them too. As part of the Northern Leopard Frog Recovery Team, the Wilder Institute and our partners are working to reintroduce these frogs in BC through a combination of research, conservation breeding, head starting, and release. Uh, my name is Patrick Thompson. I'm the manager of Canadian Wilds and Penguins at the Wilder Institute in Calgary, in Calgary Zoo. Uh, I've worked here for about 12 years. So the zoo cares for these animals, these northern leopard frogs, in a variety of different ways. Obviously we house them uh, throughout the spring and summer, usually in outdoor ponds that we try to make as naturalistic as possible with vegetation, land space, water space for them. We feed these animals, obviously, different foods as they develop. So when they're a tadpole, we're feeding them things like boiled lettuce and, and different kinds of uh, plant material as they get bigger, as they start to develop. We're feeding them things like fruit flies and crickets and different insects that they can, they can snack on. Since they live outside, they also get an opportunity to feed on wild native insects that kind of go into their, their habitats. Uh, we also, of course, we try to mimic their natural life cycle as closely as possible. So we, we care for them when they're awake in the spring, summer, and fall. And then we also get them prepped for going through the winter. So they go through a brumation period where they're uh, dormant. So we, we have a cooler system, a temperature controlled area where we can actually help slowly cool them off so they reach that state and then wake up again in the spring. Our researchers are determined to help this unique species. We are monitoring frog populations by recording their calls so we can gain insight into their seasonal behaviors such as when they are breeding, We are working to improve reproduction through the conservation breeding program. We're looking at factors for successful breeding such as a diverse gene pool and high reproductive rates. Researchers are performing ultrasounds, conducting hormone therapy, in vitro fertilization and are even freezing sperm for preservation. We've already released thousands of tadpoles across two different sites in BC and are excited to have the wetlands of BC echo with the grumbles, rumbles and chuckles of the northern leopard frog. We are determined to help the northern leopard frog succeed. A wild home for these singers creates wilder places for other species and for us to enjoy. Help us make our world even wilder.